Adrian Elizabeth Alexander was a businesswoman. She was a wife, a mother, and a friend. I lost Adrian due to COVID. My name is Mark Alexander, and I am from Corpus Christi, Texas. I am a disabled veteran. I did nine years in the military. I met Adrian actually when I was 16 years old, and we were married for 19 years. She was absolutely dynamic. The kids would describe their mom as tough but loving. They knew whatever decisions that they made, she would give them guidance. The thing that I miss most about Adrian is our talks about everything under the sun. She was actually one of the frontline workers working for Texas Children's Hospital as a project manager. She knew everybody. I was absolutely proud of her. Working with Adrienne was so much fun. <laughs> she poured everything she had into every relationship. As a team, we made a joint decision to love like Adrienne. Adrian and I's relationship was really based on our faith because that is the very foundation by which we live. Adrian was a leader here in our ministry, a friend to so many. She had a tremendous impact on a lot of people. When a person gets sick with COVID, it's extremely fast. It wasn't like we had much time. The ability to visit Adrian at the hospital was null and void. She was admitted on the 10th of July. I never saw my wife home again. You know, in this thing we call life, they do these studies, men go before women, women outlast. So in my mind, I was supposed to go first. So when this happens, it's like, it's so different because women keep the family together. The Brave of Heart Fund is phenomenal. They responded in a major way, literally a snap of a finger and the Brave of Heart was there. Having the Brave of Heart pay for the funeral allowed me to concentrate on my family. I didn't have to worry about bills. I remember the last sermon that Adrian preached here at the church and she was talking about honor. When you look at love, love is the motive and honor is the objective. She most definitely lived an honorable life. She was the epitome of what we would say honor is. I want her back, but we know that's not gonna happen. So let's move forward, let's honor her, let's make sure her legacy doesn't go unheard. And that's where I stand right now.